Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we're taking a look at this thing, which I don't know exactly what it is, but when you translate the name, it translates to I want pizza. So this is by Gomi, and we're going to check it out. All right, so we are on low physics, and uh, we're still in moon gravity, but, but high physics was far worse. So I feel like this is a model of what we are going to be getting into. I guess the train system here, the monorail system. And I think this is like a model of it. So we're gonna go ahead and walk up this. Wait, let's check this out here. We've got this beautiful, I think it's a clock. What time is it? Do we know what time it is? Let's see, uh, do, 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 clock. Oh, well, that doesn't show the time, whatever. I think it actually flips. Let's, let's see here and watch and wait for it to flip. Okay, there we go. I forgot that I had the time stopped. So if you go into your settings, make sure you have override time off. And then you get the clock to flip over here. Let's see how this works. Okay, it's just flipping over. That is pretty neato. So that is a clock that is actually using the number blocks and spins for each one. Very cool. That's called pivot leg. <laughs> Did I mention pivot? All right, moving on. Okay, so we have we have these lights here. I wonder, I think we'll check out at night the end here. But we're just gonna walk up these stairs, uh, this beautiful train station, or not train, uh, monorail system. So go up here. Let's run up a little bit since we're in moon gravity. It's gonna take a little time. So we'll get up here. And then we've got this nice architecture here, giant window. And we're going to come inside. And wow. Really nice looking. But uh, the lag hurts. And this is on low physics. And uh, wow, look at this. It's, uh, I guess it's why it's called the pizza. I want pizza. It's a PZ Carter. Hmm. Okay. So uh, we could go higher. What's up here? Checking out the train as we do it. All right, we're going to come up here and uh, basically just a view of the harbor. So there you go. Very nice. Okay, so let's go back down. Oh, let's go back down. Oh, you fall downstairs. You don't walk downstairs in this game. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get on the I Want Pizza train or I Want Pizza monorail. Okay, let's see engine part. Do we want to go back here? Check this out first. Let's go back here and check this out first. Oh, full step there. Okay, got seating here. Isn't there like a top layer that I saw? Oh, here we go. Come to the back and look through here. Okay, we have little rooms they have their own heater a little bed i'm assuming they're all the same here oh i thought they were parachutes for a second and then what's this guy back here is that like maintenance or something or is that like a bathroom do you pee outside no maybe not okay uh oh that's a bathroom what the heck is that Throw your waste outside? I don't, I don't know. Okay, let's check another one of these rooms back here. Yeah, these are the same. Okay, let's go back outside. I'm assuming the lights come on when you start the engine, maybe? I don't I don't know. We'll see when we get to the front. Okay, let's go through here. And this is like the dining car. And it's got like little candles here. I guess. Those are supposed to be like candles. And there you go. Wait, what is that? Is that a downway or something? No, oh, it's a bar. Okay, cool. All right, so, oof, frame rate's killing me, but let's keep going. All right, let's go down and down and down and through the cart here again. Wait, is this the right one? Yeah, this is the right one. All right, the next cart. So that's that's kind of like the people cart. And this next thing is probably like like the tender, I guess. So it's called the back is called the tender, right? Or is the tender the front? I always forget. I think that's a hopper and that's a tender. 
I don't know. I forgot my terms. Whatever. Let's keep going here. Okay, it's got lots of whatever that's in there. I guess fuel. Or maybe coal. All right, let's just turn on the key. Things are starting to heat up. Pretty uh, simple looking front end. Oh, wait, is there more? Oh, okay, this is good. Okay, so that's this is just the coal pliers. And over here is the driving part. So, all right, that makes more sense. Does it turn anything? No, okay. Wow, look at that. W, okay, so WS is forward, shift is brake, one is brake, two is lights, room lights. Okay. So, uh, let's go. Ready? W. Oh no, look at this. Are you seeing that? There are gears turning. Look at this. What? That's beautiful. Look at that. All right, so we're moving. And that is beautiful. We're just going to look at it as it moves. Can you imagine if you could have more than one train car in the back? And then, like, track that went all over the island? That'd be amazing. But no, this is just a simple circle to get you, I guess, give you a ride and you can eat dinner up top. I don't know. But uh, we're moving. So should we try nighttime? Okay, here is... The nighttime view. Lights are in the front. Some candles on the side there. Ooh, some damage being taken. And then, of course, we have the cart in the back here. All lit up. Try and... Ooh! Damage. So how is this hanging on here? Wait, is it actually... It's actually wheels inside of a track. Look at this. What? It's actually wheels inside of a track as if it was a real... A real, a real monorail. What is crazy? I didn't think that was possible. Look at this. And that's what's keeping it on here? I, I, don't, I don't even know. Unless there's something else I'm missing. It looks like the track is actually being held on by wheels and then the and then the pivots themselves. It doesn't seem to go over the track to like keep it on. That is really interesting. I didn't know that was possible. Oh, I broke the side here, but it wasn't me. It was the thing. But we're going to keep going and uh, go into the, uh, I guess this is the next stopping place here which is directly across from the other place. So we're going to go ahead and get inside here. See if we can stop the train. Okay, braking. Braking. Okay, maybe number one. All right. And it's just a really nice little kind of a train storage area. Oh my gosh, he's got ropes dangling. Yeah, I would love, just out of curiosity, to take all the pivots off and just see what kind of leg you get with just the structure itself. I'm sure you're going to get lag because there's a lot whoa going on here. I fell. But, you know, I wonder, like that, if you take all that off, how minimal can you get the lag? Is there no way to get off this thing? It's just kind of like a storage unit? Is that what this is? Oh, okay, it's a storage unit. Okay. All right, well then I guess we'll continue our journey to the station again. So one of the coolest thing about Stormworks is you can literally build anything. The only downside is that sometimes what you build, ouch, has a negative impact. Just like that, that was a negative impact. It has a negative impact on frame rate. So that is the downside. But the, you know, the fact that you can actually... Uh, do any of what we're looking at is amazing. So, see if we can get back to the base uh, with our little broken train. I should probably turn off damage. So, if you get this, turn off damage. Also, if you're going to download this and try it, link is in the description. Look for, I think it's PZ or Pizza in the uh, 
the add-ons. So that's what the name of the uh, file is when you go into the add-on section when you make a new game. All right, so we're coming back into the train station. It took a while to get here, but uh, that looks great, doesn't it? Look at all the, uh, the detail in that front end right there with the glass. And then the clock down the bottom. And then the old, I guess, train sample of what used to be or something like that down at the bottom. Very cool. We're going to come back into the wheelhouse with our broken train and uh, let all the people out. They've had their fun. And here we are. And it gives us stuff room. We're going to hit number one. Boom. All right. I think that's it. Wait. Oh, I had to go forward more. Look at that. Okay. I need like a light up there. It tells me when to stop. But anyways, yeah, this has been the I Want Pizza uh, translated by Gumi. And you can download it in the description below. And don't forget, you have two days left to vote for Build of the Year at endoskull.com. And tomorrow, we will be doing the podcast, the workbench, with all the cool folks and all the cool content creators and all the cool builders. And talking about the uh, details of the upcoming DLC. All right, so real quick, just out of curiosity, I deleted the train... I deleted the clock and I just was curious to see how that impacted frame rate. So this is low physics and pretty good response. Let's go to high physics really quick. All right. So we're in high physics. I do have a rope dangling there, but let's just pretend like that's not too bad. And so I'm going to jump up and down and let's just see how much of the impact of pivots and the train on the track uh, is to the game. It's not bad. It's really not bad. So again, I think if we can change how things are calculated on pivots, on sub bodies, the game would be so much better. I mean, this is like an extreme case. I mean, there's a huge structure here and all of this is being treated like a, a physical body, even though they're probably set to static, but uh, the pivots do cause a problem. So hopefully one day, they will actually change how sub buddies are calculated or not calculate them at all, which would be really nice and just make them very static, functional pivots that turn, but disregard what is on them. But right now, you know, it's still got a little choppy frame rate, but I think it's the frame rate of the 3D and not the frame rate of the physics. Let's check that out actually. All right, so we're in Photoshop real quick. So what I wanted to show you this, so this is without the train and the clock and a lot of pivots. So what is impacting? If we look right here, you see that? We're actually getting 29 frames per second. Now so that's 3D performance. That's the 3D world performance, which is like all the buildings and structures are being rendered and all those blocks. And that's impacting 3D performance, okay? So we took out the pivots and now only our performance on the actual structures is really bad. Now, if we come over here, we can see our logic and our physics performance, which is usually what we have trouble with Stormworks. So when you build a boat and you have pivots on it, you're gonna see this drop quite a bit, your your logic and your physics, usually the physics performance, they kind of go together, but it would drop from 62 to about 30 to 15 or less. So this is on high physics and we're getting, just by deleting the train and the um, clock, we're getting 51 frames per second physics. But over on the 3D performance, our rendering of all the track and all that stuff is 29 frames per second. So really interesting how the game is having trouble now with the actual buildings that are in the world because of the way it renders it. I think because when it renders out those vehicles, it makes quite a bit of triangles, I think. There's no level of detail. I don't know, I'm making this stuff up. But to some extent, now the game is struggling with the 3D objects that are in the world, the vehicle 3D object rendering, and not the physics. So, interesting, right? So anyways, I just wanted to see how the frame rate would perform without the train and the clock and the pivots in here. But as you can see, it's having trouble rendering all of these tracks, the building, and uh, the structure here. But that is the 3D rendering, not the physics. So, interesting. All right, that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell. It goes ding dong when I upload a video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you tomorrow live on the workbench with others. Yay!